With the CS market doing so well recently, I want to take a look at how well my inventory has done in the past year or so and compare it to crypto and everything else just to see how the CS skin market really holds up when it comes to putting your money into them. Is it genuinely better than quote unquote real investments? Today we'll find out. But before we get into it, check out how to get a free $5 training with the sponsor Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a great way to get the actual value for your skin and not lose a lot of money while trading for skins that look great. You can easily trade the junk you have sitting around for good investment items that can earn you money over time or trade for a knife that's been doing incredibly well price wise long term. They're not hard to find at all. And once again, free $5 bonus on your first trade when you sign up. Link at the top of the description. But for now, let's get back into it. Okay, so I'm going to be using Cantry.dev for prices. Cantry is a prominent guy in the CS scene that has this website that keeps track of tons of stuff. Kettle 14 sales, Kettle 14 prices, and history of buff prices. So you don't have to pay for the six-month feature on buff. It also goes back further than six months. I'm not 100% sure if it's available to the public because I had to ask to be added to it. It's also in beta, and some items only go back like nine, ten months. So for whatever reason, I had to guess made on some of them. But here I've compiled all my CS items throughout the last year-ish up to this point. So once again, some of them are like 9 or 10 months because that's the farthest the data went back. So I'm going to see how much profit I've made. I also included this Karambit. I also included this Karambit Forest DD path that I gave away during the last year just to see how well that has done as well because I didn't sell it for a profit. I just gave it away so you might as well see. And also a classic knife night stripe that I got a few weeks ago. Once again, just to compare it as well and see how well it's done compared to everything else. I've categorized everything into respective categories with the higher end skins being at the top, the operation items being below that. Then we've just got the standard play skin knives that kind of vary between older stuff and the more expensive cases and then the good old random classic knife thrown in there as well and then of course at the bottom my lovely 2100 cs20 cases as you could see some categories did much better than the others with cases coming in in the very clear lead and keep in mind that's the CS20 cases, which were one of the worst investment cases out there. I could have easily got Gamma cases, Revolver cases, Phoenix cases, really anything besides them, you name it, and made well over 125% on them. All of those cases I knew were good, and I talked about them too, but whatever, that's life, and 125% gains in the year isn't anything worth complaining about. Now, going back to the top with the Dragon Lore and Glock Fade, I'm pretty happy with these results. Obviously, 27% isn't anything I'm going to be complaining about. It's over $1,200 profit just by sitting on some nice expensive play skins that I like to use and when it comes to operation items I didn't expect them to be good I'm surprised I even got a near 10% gain with them in the past year I thought it would literally be zero or slightly negative honestly but changing those items in the cases or older knives literally anything besides what they are is going to be a better option and I'm going to look into actually doing that soon I said I was a while ago I never did I should do that and of course, the reason I say I could possibly turn them into older knives as well is because those have performed great too. Almost a 50% gain on them in the past year. Largely in part, most likely because cases did so well. So I think that's a fair market to diversify in. Of course, compared to stuff like Howls and Dragon Lords, cases are good because you've always got millions of people buying, selling, and unboxing them. When it comes to high tiers, you just aren't going to have that same sort of volume and hype. Also, I just want to point out the reason my inventory hasn't changed change too much is because I've been dumping money into crypto, normal stocks, and crypto stocks such as Coinbase in these past months especially. I bought a ton of Bitcoin at around $17,000 or so, also bought some Coinbase stock at around $37, $40 or so, and it's been doing great. And I'm going to keep holding it, of course, but these gains have been better than CS's in the sense that these are both gains from just the month of January that are on screen right now. And my investment portfolio was just plummeting through the 2022 bear market. Market. And as I was sitting on cash waiting to pounce, this is why I wasn't buying skins. I just wanted to keep my money in cash. And when things got close to bottoming it out, it really just got to prices I couldn't resist, like $17,000 Bitcoin. Then I had to make my move. And it's gone well. I'm still dollar cost averaging in as I think it can continue up and should continue up. But if you've noticed, my inventory hasn't changed. That's why I have the receipts. I'm not just lying. I just don't talk about non-CSGO investments in my videos very often. But I hope this gives you guys a clear picture of what's been doing so well and how different investments compare to each other. Be sure to let me know what you've been looking at recently. And of course, check out Skins Monkey for that free $5 bonus as well. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.